Well, hello friends. My move is just getting started out. You can see there are boxes being piled up in the living room and I'm almost done packing all of my other non-plant related stuff, but now it's time for me to pack my plants. I have kind of two waves that I'm doing this process in. I'm in the middle of wave one right now, let's call it. And this is probably going to be specific to me as everyone's move would be uh, because I'm only moving 10 blocks away. So uh, pretty accessible for me to walk a bunch of plants over or take public transportation if I'm feeling a little lazy, which I think I'm feeling a little lazy today. So my first wave is me basically just packing up plants in bags and walking them over. And then I'm like uh, rolling up their planters in like packing paper and storing them in this backpack if they're in like plastic pots or cash pots. And I am just I've been doing that for the past couple of days, so I figured today I would have you join with me on the process. The second wave is going to be me packing plants in boxes and crates and driving them over or uh, putting them on the moving truck, but my goal is to just have as few plants in the moving truck as possible. Like only have the plants in the moving truck that are not going to physically fit in one of my friend's cars because I don't have a car, so I'm relying on my friends, which they are very, very helpful in this process. But yeah, it's time for me to get started. I should stop wasting time because I have a lot of plants to move over there. So I have a couple plants piled up here that I think I'm gonna bring over today. I've been relying on reusable grocery bags. This Aldi one has been so helpful. It's such a good size, but I even just used like the paper Trader Joe's bags in the past. I would just save a bunch of them. I have a box of packing paper also really coming in handy, of course, because planters are fragile uh, for both packing them in my backpack and then also just keeping them in here. But what I've been doing so far is just like finding plants that will just fit nicely together. So I'll put like a plastic planter inside here. As you can see, I know this isn't gonna be the easiest thing to film because it's inside a bag. But I'm placing this in the corner and then maybe I will grab one that is a little bit more fragile. So let's say there's this fern back here in this uh, ceramic planter here. So I'll go and just shove it inside down. And plants are, you know, they're not as fragile as you think. Of course, if there's super fragile plants, like ones that could like physically break easily, I might reconsider how I'm going to package those up. But many of these that I've been packing so far are not ones that are going to be bothered by like rubbing against the side of the bag. But you know, things like Hoya leaves that can snap easily or Peperomia le uh, leaves that are very fragile, I might reconsider, but uh, the fern and the pothos are totally fine. Uh, same with this Peperomia right here. It's a pretty uh, thin leaved Peperomia right here. Peperomia japonica. Today is not about the plant varieties. It is absolutely about packing the plants. So I don't think I'm gonna label any of these, I apologize, but just getting them in there. I'll grab another one that maybe is a little bit more fragile to put next to the plastic planter since there's a plastic planter on either side as you can kind of see. And I'll wrap this with just a little bit of packing paper. I'm reusing all my packing paper as much as I possibly can just to not waste. Get this begonia in there. And then there's a little bit more room in the back. And what I think I will do is get this big philodendron right here. And I'm also going to wrap this up with this packing paper sort of material and put this one in. I'm putting this one in last, of course, because it's just so tall. It would be kind of difficult to reach around it inside the bag. Make sure I keep these begonia leaves safe. That begonia is definitely the most fragile thing that we are packing in here. And there we go. And I know this looks like a bag of mess and you're probably like, oh my gosh, but I don't know. I've been doing this for the past couple of days. I have had barely anything break and I have the planter from the peperomia, the planter from the pothos, and then the tray here from one of the plants. Can't remember which one. So I'm just gonna wrap them all up in packing paper and into the backpack it goes. I'm gonna do the same for these other planters, but that's really all there is to it. So I might as well get another bag. These acne ones have also really been coming in handy. I do have two hands so I can bring two bags. 
So I think I'll start off with this ZZ Raven in the back corner. It is a little tall, but it's gonna be a lot easier to reach around compared to this Philodendron. And I kind of want to have it nestled in there just because that is a slightly more fragile plant, but I'm not worried about it breaking whatsoever. And then I don't have one on hand in another plastic planter. So I'm going to take this Hoya that's in this skinny ceramic planter. I'm gonna wrap it up so it's not going to break or damage the other planters around it. And there we go. We have two plants nestled in that corner. I could fit at least three or four more plants in here depending on their size of their planter. All right, I rounded up a few more plants. I thought this Hoya, oh, there's some little baby plant growing in there. I thought this Hoya would fit well underneath the other Hoya inside there since that looks like it's taking up a lot of space and this has some blank space in the back of the planter. And then I found this Peperomia with a plastic planter as you can see. So we don't really have to wrap that up. A little bit more of a fragile plant, just gonna nestle it in there accordingly where the bag's not gonna be rubbing up against it. There's an anthurium here. And then it's pretty tight on space, but I found this plant in this tiny little plastic planter. So I figured that that would probably be able to be shoved down in there. In fact, I could probably fit another one. I have this teeny tiny pot of a peperomia. I could even just throw that in the blank space on top of the anthurium and there's still more room. Is there anything else I can grab? I think that's where I'll cut this one off just because it is pretty full and I don't want to damage any of these plants. A few more fragile ones in here, but I am not once again worried about them breaking at all because it's not going to be a very long journey and I have them in there where they're really not getting like damaged. As you can see when I pick up the bag like this, like nothing is really getting crushed or anything. Some of them are getting kind of, you know, pushed in different directions than they normally would be, but nothing's in a situation where it's going to get broken leaves or a planter. So I think we're good. I'm going to finish wrapping up these planters that I now have to wrap up, put them in my backpack, and then I'm gonna head over to the new apartment. We have landed at the new apartment with our bags. It literally took five minutes to get here with public transportation. It was amazing. And now it's just time to unpack these bags. You can see I have a bunch of plants on the windowsills back there from what I've been moving. I have some in the kit, a lot in the kitchen because there's a skylight, so they're just kind of basking in the light. But I think while I'm here right now, I'm gonna just take all of these plants, well, not all of them, but most of them, and move them over and just start like a row on the floor in front of the windows just to keep everything as neat as possible because also the plants that are in the windowsill right now aren't gonna be in the windowsill. Uh, those were all plants that were on my shelves before and they're all probably gonna get moved back onto the shelves, but for now I'm just trying to keep this as neat as possible. And I think we're on a good track. I feel like I have at least like 70, 75 plants here at the moment. There's also a couple more in my bedroom. So I feel very confident that by the time I'm moving here this upcoming weekend, I will have well over 100 plants here. Obviously we have like 350 in total, so it's a feat, but I don't wanna be putting too many on the moving truck, but I will be having like friends and I take like little car trips over here, but 75 plants so far for literally just walking slash taking public transportation is pretty good. I think I'm on a good track. But now it's time to unpack these. I will probably need two hands to do so. Obviously I'm holding the camera and you can see my wires getting in the way, I apologize. But I'm just gonna pull these out in the order that I put them in which is obviously just the safest way to get them all out. I guess maybe I put this guy in. This guy's looking a little ratty lately. I think he needs a, a nice big glass container. Also, it's kind of like one of those like sensitive plants, not completely, but kind of like one of those sensitive plants where if you mess with it a lot, it starts to look really bad and fold up a little bit. So definitely looking a little rattier than when I packed it earlier, but I think I'm gonna use my second hand to get the rest of these guys out. So you can see they're pretty well in there, but so far, no leaf breaks from what I can see. So here we have all of our stuff unpacked. We came out of this basically unscathed. There was one Hoya Crassipes leaf that fell off in transit, I guess. I just found it in the bag, but that is pretty good. Uh, I think seeing me pack up these things in bags like this you would expect that a lot more leaves would break of course like i mentioned things that are more fragile like hoyas and peperomias 
are more susceptible to breaking, but even this ZZ plant got here without snapping. And more importantly, this begonia back here was the one that I think I was the most worried about breaking just because it's freaking gorgeous. But no, we got here with what I would call unscathed. We're just a couple days away from the moving day now, so I'm starting to pack my plants in boxes. I'm using these banker's boxes because they are tape-free and very sturdy, and they come with these lids, so it's just really easy that like, when it's moving time, I can just close the lids on a bunch of these, and then I can stack a bunch of them, and then if there's any plants that are too tall for these boxes, I can still put them in the box, and I can put them at the top of the stack with the lid open, so just an easy way. I'm not adding any padding because I'm literally moving like 10 blocks, like I said, so it's gonna be a pretty smooth trip in the van. I'm not too concerned about that. And uh, if one or two crack, it's not gonna be a big deal, but I don't see any of these shattering or really anything happening whatsoever. So not really a concern, but I'm gonna to continue to pack some up with plants that are low enough to fit inside the boxes so that, like I said, on moving day, I can stack a bunch of these. And that's going to be my day today. <laughs> I'm gonna start filling this box with this philodendron hostatum here. I'm gonna use mostly five or six inch planters just to kind of puzzle piece them in. I was able to fit six in the first box, so I'm aiming to fit at least six in this box as well. Some I gotta kind of test out before because I'm not sure if they're gonna fit. Eh, this is cutting it close, but I think it'll fit. And this other philodendron. Ooh, that fits literally perfectly. That one needs a little bit more love, but we will give it the love once we stop stressing about the move. Little begonia. And I'm leaving plenty of space. Like I said, I'm not going very far, so I'm not really worried about these clanking together or really falling. There's not going to be much more than a five minute ride over. This one might be pushing it. We will see. But I gotta get this plant over there somehow. I just don't really want to damage the other plants in the process. Oh, no. This one's probably gonna need to be put in its, a box of its own, maybe with one or two others. But we have plenty of others that can fill the space instead. Like this lengthy Monstera Peru should situate this begonia somewhere where it's a little safer from being damaged by these other plants. And I'm almost thinking that if I add a little bit of padding, I could probably fit like a four inch plant in between there. So I can just take a bit of this padding that I have right here. And we'll kind of just make a little pocket I think I'll try to get this rip salis in there. And just make sure that the pot is protected by the paper. And there we go. I could even throw a small plant in the space inside the begonia here, inside the monstera, or like throw my air plants on top of there. Probably do air plants with the begonia because it's a little bit more fragile but it's best to just utilize this space as best as possible. I'm also gonna be using these crates. I use them as my TV stand and as like a little plant shelf display, but they're stackable, so I'm gonna use them for the move. I filled up this box right here with a bunch of succulents and cacti. You can see it kind of just draped my string of hearts and my string of pearls over top of all these other ones. Nothing's really too fragile, nothing's gonna get broken. I feel like the most fragile thing is that cactus right there, or maybe that Hoya right there, but there's nothing that's gonna get damaged with this. And I have a, like six, five, six more of these crates, so I'm just gonna do a couple more, and my goal is that I will stack them all up, and then the ones on top just like, or the crates on top just like with the boxes, I can put some taller plants inside, which this is obviously just the easiest way for me to quickly and smoothly or as quickly and smoothly as possible, move 300 to 400 plants to another apartment. This would be a little bit more difficult if I was moving further, but I'd still have to pack all the plants up no matter what. So I can just be a little less worried about things breaking in transit since I am just going not a far distance. But if you are moving, you know, like another state or even further than that, uh, you might want to do a little bit more care in packaging your plants, maybe with just some packing paper in between uh, the pottery that you might be concerned about breaking. 
It's the day before moving day. I'm just finishing up packing the stuff that I use regularly and I have all my plants packed. Well, at least most of them, all of the big ones aren't packed and I have a couple that I'll have to come back for in a week or two uh, that will be fine if they're left. Uh, so it's time for me to put the lids on these boxes and stack them up because now I need to make room for all the other stuff that I'm just finishing up packing now. And these will be totally fine overnight with the lids on. In fact, they'd be fine for even longer than that. I just wanted to baby my plants, but when plants get delivered to plant stores, they're sitting in boxes on trucks for sometimes up to a week. So that's nothing in comparison to that. But you can see I just have box after box after box full of plants. There's another one over there. There's more over in my pile over yonder so we're just finishing that up here's the crate stacked as you can see they just kind of uh, fit within one another and it's just a convenient way for me to move my plants just keeping the ones that are you know are just like these boxes right here where everything fits inside on the lower level and then having those on top that's a little bit more sturdy than these which will just be sitting on top of each other but trust me we will be filling the truck to the brim and nothing will be going anywhere throughout the move plus like i've said 10 times at this point but we're really not going very far at all so everything will be fine it is officially moving day my anxiety and stress level is beyond but it's fine it's going to be over soon there is still some plants that I will be leaving. There's this little corner back here, and I'm hopefully gonna bring the Schifflera and the Tetrastigma today because it would be easier to bring them in the moving truck. Same with this Philodendron, but we will see what happens. I have friends who have cars. I do not have a car, but my friends are very nice. Oh my God, do you hear what I'm talking about? The jet engine air? <sighs> I'm so not gonna miss this. Anyway, I wanted to also show you guys before I mean already my plants are packed up obviously that's what this video is about but I feel like I have like talked about my couch this is not an ad by the way in any way but I've talked about my couch so much on my channel it's a, called a burrow couch b-u-r-r-o-w and it's like pet resistant like scratch resistant and like stain resistant and it like comes apart and I this literally took me five minutes do you see this is my couch and those are the cushions right there and that's so convenient because the elevator in the building i'm moving to is not big enough to fit the couch so literally in minutes it took me by myself to put, take it apart muffins confused <laughs> she's going in she just took her gabapentin and she's going in the crate soon but she still has some time but she's like where's my couch but yeah i just love it and i'll obviously need help putting it back together but yeah, I'm a really big fan of it. It was totally worth the money, except inflation. I feel like they've gone up more because they want to buy the accent chair because I love how it's pet resistant and how easy it folds away and moves. Anyway, that's not really what this video is about. I just wanted to show you guys. But yes, my friends will be here in about an hour, maybe two hours maximum. And then we are going to start bringing stuff down to the loading dock and packing the moving truck. I'm going to be way too stressed out during that to even think about filming but I will see you guys once I've landed in the new apartment and I can even just think for a second. So wish me luck. It's been a couple of days since I've moved in here, if I could even call it that, because we had a couple of snafus. Moving day was literally the most stressful day I've ever had in my life. Unfortunately, as much as I tried to prepare for this to not be a stressful move, it was a very stressful move, and unfortunately we couldn't even fit everything in the moving truck because I misjudged. I got the same size moving truck as I got when I moved in to my last home, and I forgot that I bought like a bunch of new furniture. So I have to get another moving van, a smaller van. We're not gonna get a truck, just like a little van to pick up the rest of the stuff. And unfortunately the things that we left at the apartment are like all of my shelves or things that I had at like the base of my trellises. So I can't even plant style my home, which is what I wanted to do as the next vlog because I can't go get it this weekend because I have a wedding as well as one of my friends who helps me out has a wedding to go to as well. So we're not even going to get to do it till next weekend. So it's going to be a while that there's just plants 
on the floor like this, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So in the meantime, I don't know if I'm gonna take a little break or think of some other kind of video I can do next week. I'm a little too stressed out to do one of my normal videos. I do have um, one of my videos for my sponsored series that I do every month, so don't be alarmed when I post a random video <laughs> at my old home uh, in the near future. But yeah, we are at where we are at now. We have at least 90, 95% of our plants at the apartment now. There are just a couple floor plants and like a box or two that couldn't fit in the truck that I still have to go get as well as like maybe one or two more boxes that I have to pack up. I have to bring boxes back. Um, I didn't pack up my apartment completely like people normally would when they were moving because I did, I do have the old apartment for a couple more weeks before the lease is over so I have plenty of time to go clean it so once again I, just like I was going to bring the plants uh, back and forth at first now I've been stopping back there to grab some other things like clothes that I left and all little random things that I need to uh, slowly get over here that I didn't need immediately so that's where I'm at right now it's not fun it's very stressful but we all get through it <laughs> at some point <laughs> So thank you so much for joining me with this for this journey. Um, <laughs> sorry, just know at the beginning I was like really feeling it and now I am feeling it. But like I said, we will get through this slowly but surely. So uh, thank you again for joining me and I will see you guys in the next leg of our adventure.